In today's video, we're going to use a food processor to make pineapple ice cream. Things we're going to need, obviously a big food processor. We're going to need pineapple. There are two cups of frozen pineapple. We're going to use some sweetened condensed milk, one whole can, again chilled. Whipping cream, an entire 16 ounces, and that's also chilled. Just a little bit of salt. And we're going to add some cream of coconut. I'm not going to use all 15 ounces, just probably maybe a third of that or a fourth. We're going to need a container to put our liquid ice cream into so that we can freeze it. And a spatula. First thing we're going to do is take our frozen pineapple. And this is any fresh frozen pineapple or even fresh pineapple, but you're going to have to freeze it. Now, a lot of recipes call for heating this, putting it in the stove, and that just detracts from the taste of it. So we're not going to do that because this process, this food processor will take care of breaking it down for us. We're going to pulse for a few moments. And what you have is sort of a, a slushy, and it's broken down the pieces of pineapple so that it's just like a pulp. Now we're going to take our sweetened condensed milk. And by using sweetened condensed milk, we don't have to add any sugar to this. And it's going to be thick because, again, it's chilled, which is what we want. Some recipes call for mixing the ingredients, then chilling them, then mixing again and freezing. And by using everything chilled, we're going to eliminate that step entirely. Once everything is mixed, we're just going to go straight to freezer. Now we process until it's smooth. And after about 30 seconds, just a nice creamy smooth mix there's almost nothing coming up on the sides I'm just gonna bring everything down into the mix and now we're gonna add the heavy whipping cream We're going to add just a little bit of salt. One, two, three. There. And then I'm going to process this some more for about maybe 30 seconds. Now you'll notice that it's airy, very creamy, and we're just going to add a little bit of the coconut cream because we sort of want a pina colada type of ice cream. And because it's chilled, it's almost kind of a paste. And I'm just gonna add that much to it. And then we're going to mix some more. Then we're ready to uh, Okay, about 30 seconds of that. We've incorporated our coconut cream. And again, that was about two teaspoons, two tablespoons. I know it's very inaccurate, but we just want the essence of it. We don't want it overpowering. So now the challenge is to get all of this Whoa. without spilling it all over the countertop. And it is delicious. Some people recommend putting parchment paper or plastic over it. 
we're we'll using a lid, so I don't really see a need for that. Mmm, it's going to be delicious ice cream. And I got plenty to lick off the counter. <laughs> anyway, so we put this in the refrigerator for about six hours or just overnight. I don't think I got anything. Oh, man, I hate you. I hate you. I'm sorry. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> the next day, we go into the fridge, take the container out, pop it open. Someone's already been here. Like maybe we had a previous take when we blew it. And we scoop out the ice cream, which looks like ice cream, has the texture of ice cream, and why shouldn't it? Because it is ice cream. Now we did notice that there was some ice crystal buildup on the surface, and you can eliminate that by putting some parchment paper or plastic wrap on the surface before freezing. But either way, it doesn't affect the taste of the ice cream. Speaking of, the taste was very rich, creamy, not over sweet, not over pineapple, and certainly not over coconut. Pina colada tasting dessert. Mm. There you have it. And um, hmm. So I think it's good. It's very good. So a cheap and easy way to make your own ice cream using a food processor. If you found this interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, please, please subscribe, and as always, thank you so much for watching.